How you going guys? I'm back on the farm trying to control the rabbit population. This whole area is absolutely riddled with them. While I'm up here today I'm going to do a demonstration of three quick easy spring snares. Ideally when you're snaring you want to use pegs like these with a wire snare on the end. But back in the day or say in a survival situation the chances are you probably haven't got a reel of wire on you and all you have got is maybe a bit of cordage or maybe just a shoelace. Now the main reason why you want to lift the critter off the ground is to try and help prevent it biting through the snare cord but hopefully as well you'll kill the critter a lot quicker. Okay for the snare we've got a cordage, we're going to put it into a loop, we're going to tie a knot in the end, no silly bollocks just a regular knot and then we get the other end, pop it through the hoop and we've got a noose. Okay number one, I call this a lock snare. It's almost like a twitch up snare, it's really simple. You've got your first part which is the peg. At the top you've got almost like a mortise and tenon notch on it. The mortise and tenon would go this way but it's, it's very similar, they just connect together. Um, on the second part, apart from the notch, it's just been beaver cut around the top. This is where the cordage will go from here to your spring. And then on the back side of it, that's where your noose, your snare, will attach from there, supported by a few sticks. I really like this trap, it's probably one of my favourite spring snares. Okay, I found a really good rabbit trail for the first one. Okay, I've made a little bit of a funnel each side just to ensure that the crit is going to go through my trap as it'll come up, put in the noose, and it'll hang him off here. Okay, on to number two. This one's called a roller snare. We've got two pegs, both with a saddle notch at the top of them. The third stick, when these are driven into the ground, the third stick will just hold in place there. It's been beaver cut around the middle and the cordage will go from here to the spring. Um, and as the spring's pulling it up, it will just keep it in place inside these notches. Um, and then the noose will just be tied on and will be hanging underneath. Okay, I found another fresh trail. I set up the roller snare. What I do when I set my snares, I put it three fingers from the ground. On this one, I've used a live sapling as a spring. Okay, same again. The crit will come through and it'll be hung up in the tree. Okay, on to number three. I'm not sure of the name of this one. I'm not sure if, it, uh, if it's even got a name. I'm going to call it the primitive spring snare. The first piece, the peg, you have to select the right pieces for this trap. Um, the only alterations I've done to the peg is just bevel around the top. This is just to help it stop uh, mushrooming out when you're, when you're hammering it into the ground. And then underneath, I've just taken a little bit of material off, just a little bit of bark. This is just to make the, uh, the trigger a little bit more sensitive. The second part, again, you have to select the right piece. It kind of sits like like that. I've beaver cut around the top. This is where the, the cordage will attach to your spring. And then underneath here, I've beaver cut again around there. And that's where your snare will hang, again, supported by a few sticks. Okay, I found another trail along the boundary line. Set up the primitive snare. A little trick with this one is when you're tying the uh, knot to the spring to tie the knot on the inside and bring the string around if you tie the knot here it'll just slip it off what I've done is use a few rocks just to give me a, a funnel and on this one I've used an overhanging tree as my spring Okay guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe. Take care and happy trapping.